Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel, Path to Wellness. Today's video is how to do a 48 hour fast, tips, tricks, and benefits. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. And real quick before we get started, I'm gonna mention that I'm now doing fat loss and wellness coaching. So if you'd like some extra help, go ahead and message me on Facebook or Instagram, or you can send me an email, and those links are in the description box below the video. All right, so um, I'm in the middle of a 48 hour fast right now, and I thought now's a really good time to make this video. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I promote intermittent fasting, and sometimes I like to throw in that 48 hour fast as well. So here are some of the tips on how to do a 48 hour fast. Tip number one is you need to mentally prepare yourself. You have to tell yourself that you're going to do a 48 hour fast, it's not going to be a problem. This is probably the absolute number one tip on, on how to do it successfully and get through it. Because if you go into it thinking, you know, ooh, that sounds like a long fast, I don't, you know, I'm going to get too hungry, I'm not sure if I can do it, it's probably not going to happen, you're going to give up. But if you go into it, I'm going to do a 48 hour fast, it's going to be no problem, I got this. Pretty much almost anyone should be able to do a 48 hour fast without any problems whatsoever. So that is the number one tip is be strong mentally because it's mostly mental. You can get through it. Just tell yourself that and, and push forward. All right. The number two tip is avoid the, hater, avoid the haters or ignore the haters and the naysayers. So it's best when you're doing this type of thing to not advertise it. Don't tell people about it. The less people, the better because... Even though fasting is getting to be more mainstream now, uh, a lot of people still don't know anything about fasting and they don't understand it. So if you go around telling people that you know, you're going to do a fast, chances are you're going to get more, a lot more negative than positive. So if you're trying to get through something, that's the last thing you want to hear. So I would recommend just keeping it to yourself as much as you can. You know, don't advertise it and that's going to be the best as far as you know, getting through the fast and you're not going to have to deal with those people that are trying to bring you down just because they don't understand something. All right, third tip, and this is a really important one, is keep yourself busy. So find something you like to do, you want to do, get busy with your work, whatever that may be. But this is super important because it's going to help keep your mind off the food and you're not going to be thinking about food. The more busy you are, the less you're going to be thinking about food. So that's an absolute huge one is keep busy. If you have nothing else to do than just Go on a walk, go on walks, walk your dog, go on a hike, get outside into nature, you know, get work done you need to do, organize your house, whatever you need to do, but keeping busy is absolutely key because um, that's going to help keep your mind off the food. All right, tip number four, and this is pretty obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway, is stay away from food if possible. So if you're doing a fast, you know, you don't want to be making a bunch of food unless you have to for your family, but preferably if you're doing that 48 hour fast, maybe somebody else can take care of cooking the food while you're doing the fast because you're going to be way more tempted if you're handling food and dealing with food than if you're not. So pretty simple, but stay away from the food if you can. All right. Tip number five, I like to drink tea. I like green tea and herbal tea. It's just soothing to me. I think it has health benefits and it also makes it so I'm not as hungry during that fast. So I highly recommend tea, uh, green tea, herbal tea. Some people like coffee. I don't really promote coffee, but that's another thing you can do as well. Um, just make sure you're not putting anything in the tea or coffee. So don't put any sugar, cream, fake sugar, sweeteners. I would stay away from all that when you're fasting. So just plain tea, plain coffee is okay, but don't put anything um, you know, inside it. Okay, tip number six is you can also hydrate with salt and potassium water. So stay, make sure you stay hydrated with electrolytes. Um, that's just gonna make it, it's gonna be easier to get through it and that's something I recommend as well. So those are the six main tips for you know, getting through a 48 hour fast and how to do it. Now. A uh, couple things I want to mention that, that these fasts are really great for. Number one is any pain in your body. So let's say you have back pain. Let's say you have any pain anywhere. 
Start getting on those 48 hour fasts. See how you feel after a 48 hour fast. Because I've had issues, there's been issues in the past where I may, may have messed up my back or had some back issues. And the 48 hour fast really helped it. It really, it really let my body heal because instead of digesting food, my body had more of a chance to heal the issue. So any pain in your body, try to do that 48 hour fast. And you know, other issues like skin issues and things like that, fasting is also great for. So you may have to do multiple fasts for a lot of things, but nonetheless, if you have pain in your body, start out with that 48 hour fast and see how it goes. And the other thing that uh, for these fasts are great for is weight loss plateaus. So let's say you need to lose weight, you're doing everything right, you know, eating a good diet, exercising, things like that, of course, but putting in these 48 hour fasts will help your body get into that fat burning mode. It's gonna help burn fat, and especially if you're at a plateau or you're stalling, start, kick, start putting in some 48 hour fasts. And again, multiple doing this multiple times is really gonna help and get you where you wanna be. So that's pretty much it for today. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure you share the video with, anything, with anyone who might be interested in this information. And we'll be seeing you soon with another video. Have a great day, everyone.